well, I got a Z, and then I do. Even that metal story shed's full of toys I haven't, animals I haven't brought out yet. April showers usually bring May flowers, but in this yard, spring brings something entirely different. This Salt Lake home has become a neighborhood destination for its unique collection. Take a look at these things. <laughs> New specialist Andrew Adams is live with the story you gotta see to believe here. Andrew? Well, Mike, you know how it goes. Most of us are lucky if the lawn is mowed, and if we have time, then we move on to the garden. Well, this woman has found a one-of-a-kind way to make her yard stand out. <laughs> If homes are judged by their character... Oh, you have seen nothing yet. This house has plenty. These are my older ones. As in, plenty of characters. Some of them wears cowgirl boots. He wears a tie. Stuffed animals. I dressed the elephants this year because they're looking kind of tattered. <laughs> Dolly Pitts cares for, like loved ones. They mean as much to me as if they were alive. In fact... He had a funny nose like him and the mustache. Many of the creatures perched here represent loved ones, like Dolly's husband, Bill. Because now, he was a good husband. He really was, he died. Hundreds of stuffed animals. I keep pulling them out, I got more. They fill the garage. His nose and his eyes and his fur. Bygone treasures that span Pitt's 37 year career. I did daycare for a living and I had tons of stuffed animals. Four years ago, she started displaying them. I wanted something no one had in the whole world for my 40th anniversary. No surprise, people noticed. This week, the garbage lady stopped. The house is now a neighborhood attraction. Do I look like I'm a shy person? No. Pitts is a driven person. Okay, there he is. A person driven by the love of a pet. Pepperoni was the jazz pig on the outside of the Delta Center. A pig that drew news coverage. Got this lady's vote for MVP, most valuable pig. During the jazz playoff runs of the 1990s. There's Carl Malone, his mother, Shirley. It's a pig. Anyway, he died in 2001. That's so dear to Dolly, he's central to this display. I'm sure he's up there watching me saying, way to go, Mom. For Pitts, her home's bold decor isn't about appearances. My friends all think I'm crazy as a loon. <laughs> she maintains it's all uh, about happiness. Was, At least I have enjoy life. Life lived out of laughter and love. If you can do that, then you've achieved something in, in this world. Well, Pitts admits some neighbors are happier about our yard than others, but she says the kids absolutely love the stuffed animals. And she says if they get damaged by the weather, she spends hours to repair them. Thank you. Yeah, that was my question. I was wondering what she did during, uh, you know, the winter weather, or all the rain out there, but apparently they stay, huh? Yeah, during the rain, you know, the rain's the rain. She does take them in during the winter, so they come out in the spring, go back in the fall. There you go. Out they come. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, Andrew.